what are the excuses that allow us to leave the prayer in the masjid? Akhi, it is not, there's no checklist that says that, okay, number one, number two, number three, you can skip. For example, among the things that, it's not a life and death situations as well. Uh, the hadith tells us that there is no prayer while a person is fighting the urge to answer the call of nature or when the food is served. So the Prophet tells us, delay your prayer if you have to answer the call of nature. Go ahead and, and answer it. And delay the prayer if the food is served and you're hungry and you want to eat. Eat whatever is, ever is sufficient and go catch up with the remaining of the prayer. Also, eating garlic and onions, the smell is offensive. And the Prophet told us not to enter the masjid. So this allows you to skip. And this is a legitimate reason if done randomly. Not like our friend here uh, from Iraq, Shad, Shad's friend, not Shad. When he eats it deliberately to skip the uh, uh, prayer with the congregation. This is the act of hypocrites. No, I'm talking about some someone who randomly ate it and skipped prayer accordingly. This is totally legitimate. Among the reasons that are reasons that happen once every blue moon. So you have a doctor visiting your mom and it's time for prayer and there's no one to stay with your mother. You have to be with her and this male doctor who's visiting her. This is a legitimate excuse. You, um, you, your wife is gone to bring the kids from school and your little child who's three years of age is uh, having a fever and no one to stay with him in the home. So you have to stay with him until somebody attends the child. This is a legitimate reason and so on. This is something between you and Allah. Nobody is holding a stick waiting for you outside your home if you don't show up for Salat and he beats the heck out of you. So you try your level best to do what pleases Allah and Allah knows best.